Hey, Superfluous Science here. So recently I ordered this uh, platinum anode off of Amazon and the listing looked a little bit sketchy. So the whole time I was kind of crossing my fingers hoping that it wasn't a fake, but lo and behold, got it in the mail, checked it and it was a fake. But in doing so, I realized an important distinction that I don't think anyone really before has addressed that allows you to fairly e easily uh, distinguish these fake anodes that are all over the internet that these Chinese companies try and list and genuine ones. So uh, let me show you. So this here is a platinum anode that I've proved to be genuine and I have been using it to make potassium chlorate for a few months. This is just uh, a little cell I put together a few days ago. And you should be able to see a little bit of a difference here. Now most of these ones, these fake Chinese anodes, have are, are really shiny. And, and the, the genuine platinum anodes I've recognized aren't really very shiny. You can see in the light here. They're, they're, they're kind of more a coarse gray texture. And yeah, not, not, not exactly as shiny as this. Also, another distinguishing factor is usually you can't see it on this one, but there is often a line where the electroplating solution, where, where the uh, electrode comes out of the electroplating solution. Like I said, you can't really see it on this one, but there usually is. This one, no, no line. This is literally just welded, I guess you could say, directly on there. There's no line where it's been dipped in an electroplating solution. Nothing. Nothing like that. And also there are other ways of telling, but for the most part, I'd say that this is the best way so far. All of the genuines, all of the genuine ones I've seen have, all have this, uh, this coarse, dark grayish texture, and they're all fairly easy to distinguish. Now, of course, just to be sure, I also ran this thing in a saltwater electrolysis solution for a few minutes and the solution turned totally yellow. That is not supposed to happen. If you, if you do that with any other anode that can handle that, then that, that will not happen. So it is obviously corroding. It looks like from this weld here, but given enough time, I'd imagine that the whole thing would just turn to dust. And of course, if you're really unsure, you can do all the classic tests, like taking a magnet to it, seeing if it sticks or not, or uh, grinding it. NerdWage has a video on that. I'd recommend doing all the tests you can to make sure it's fake or not. To make sure if it's fake or not. Um, the good news is, I was able to get a refund if you could call it that, on this on this piece of junk here. I don't know, the uh, the stupid Chinese sellers on Amazon and eBay, they, they, they really want to scam you out of your money, so basically what they did is they gave me half the money, but, so you know, at least I got some money back, most people don't. I guess I should consider myself lucky in that case. All is not lost though. If this is titanium and isn't just some 
other steel alloy or something. Um, I should hopefully be able to use this as a cathode. And then hopefully won't have to uh, buy a strip welded to a mesh as a cathode because I've been having some trouble with that lately for making cath for making uh, electrolytic cells and whatnot. So hopefully I should be able to do that. I will definitely give updates on whether or not that has worked. So you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. All of these on here are fake for the most part. You can see they're all the exact same texture. They all look the exact same. They're all from these Chinese sellers. And yeah, they, they're all fake. So this one specifically on eBay apparently has over 300 sold. And you can tell it's just the exact same. It's most likely fake. And this is the anode off of Amazon that Nerd Rage recommends and has proven to be genuine in his videos. As you can see, you can clearly see that defined line where it came where the anode came out of the solution. And the texture is much different. It's much darker, it's much coarser. And this one is the one that I'm using. You can see it's the exact same as the other one. It's uh, got that very defined line. It's got the nice coarse texture, grayish. So uh, these are genuine. These two are genuine. And so with all that being said, just most importantly, make sure know where you're putting your money. You know, <laughs> know where your money is going.